assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we will talk about social linguistic so let's start this video the notes of this video are given in the description box what is social linguistics as the famous saying goes if you want to know a person let him speak yani ki agar aap kisi ko jana chahte hai to usko bolne diye because as the person opens his mouth and speaks you will come to know how much educated he is the class of that person as well as the ethnicity of that person so language is the representation of a person and social linguistics studies the relationship between language and society it is because of the language we transfer information as who we are where we come from and who we associate with and it is language to we judge a person's character background and intentions simply based on the person's language dialect or even choice of a single word so we can say that social linguistics is the study of language and society social linguistics is also known as sociology of language origin and meaning of the term social linguistics the term social linguistics is made up of two words socio which means society and linguistics which means scientific study of language so social linguistics is the scientific study of language and its social context definitions of social linguistics there are many definitions of social linguistics but the most common ones include social linguistics is the study of the relationship between language and society social linguistics studies how language affects society as well as how society affects language why people of the same area speaks different dialects or different accents and how people use language to perform different functions the second definition of social linguistics is Social linguistics is the study of the relationship between language and social factors such as class, ethnicity, age and sex. People use different languages in a society which shows their class and ethnicity. Moreover, social linguist also studies that why people of different ages and different sex use different languages at the same time. The third definition of social linguistics is it is the study of language and social context. Social linguistics as a separate discipline answer the following questions as how society affects language because people speak differently according to their class and social context the second question is how language affects society because language shows the age of a person the class of a person as well as the sex nationality and ethnicity of a person the third question is who speaks what language and why The fourth question is how and when people change the dialect because the same language have different dialects and people change the dialect according to the social context and their needs What are the purposes of social linguistics People who study language and relation to its society are known as social linguists Social linguists are interested in how people speak differently in varying social context because people used different language according to their social context and intended meaning and how people may perform specific functions of language to convey social meaning or aspects of different identities social linguist also studies that how people use language to perform different functions and how they fulfill their needs by using language moreover language is also the identity marker and social linguists are interested to find out how language act as the identity marker who is the father of socio linguistics socio linguistics appeared as a separate discipline in 1960s and was pioneered by american linguist william labo who in 1960s began a series of investigations of variations and language moreover bilheims is also considered the founder of socio linguistics because he contributed a lot and socio linguistics and he is also the founder of the general language and society factors affecting socio linguistics there are many factors that affect our language use the first one is the social background and it includes our education our so our social class and our ethnic group the second factor that affect our language use is the relationship between the speaker and the receiver and it includes our relationship with our friends family colleagues employer employee etc The third factor is the context and manner of interaction and it includes to whom we are talking when and where we are talking 
and what is the topic of discussion etc let's understand the concept of social linguistics with the help of example as we discussed earlier that social linguistics is a study of language and social context people speak differently with their friends family colleagues employees superiors and elders etc for example if a friend is talking with his friend so he would say hey buddy can i borrow your book but if that person he is talking to his colleague so he would show some formality and he would say is it possible for you to lend me your book for a day this was the example from the english language now take a look at the example from the urdu language a friend is speaking with his friend and he saying to him mujhe ek glass pani do but if that person he is talking to a stranger or colleague so he would show some formality and rather he would say kya mujhe ek glass pani mil sakta hai so according to a social linguistics language changes according to its social context this was all about today's lecture i hope today's video is helpful for you please like and subscribe our channel so that you get our new videos and thank you for watching this video